With no baseball this week, we had the uh, hashtag opening day at home thing that Major League Baseball did where they opened up the vault, let you watch pretty much whatever game. Well, I found a game on YouTube that I wanted to watch. Brig found a game yeah. that he wanted to watch this week. So, Brig, oh, yeah. tell us, yeah. what game did you watch this week? Bro. Bro. <laughs> you, I watched the 2003 American League Championship Series. Game 7 in the Bronx. And nice. it was as magical if – no, there were no commercials. It was more magical this time. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> than, it was, than it was the first time. I also got to share it with my wife. She'd never seen it. She took oh, a nap. Oh, that's woke very up cool. In, yeah, she took a nap, woke up in the eighth, so it's fine. <laughs> hey, that's fine. That game. You know, that's was, about the time that game got crazy, though. It right? got crazy. It was It was. I mean, five, it got real crazy. Yeah, so the game – the game was five to let's see five to two in going into the bottom of the eighth so she you're right she woke up at the perfect time <laughs> yeah five two bottom of the eighth red Sox are dominant pedro's on the mound <clears throat> literally killing it Roger Clemens is getting chewed up. He only pitched three innings. Three. Mm -hmm. No, it was amazing. And we knew this could be his last game ever. He said he was going to announce right. his retirement at the end of the season. He was going to be done. It was over. <coughs> so this was like the stories, the layers and stories in this one. Also, it was they, they still had not broken the curse of the Bambino. So that was happening. Right. They didn't start Aaron Boone at third base, which is pivotal in this story. Um, I don't know why, because <coughs> let's see, who did they have in? I even was it still Scott Brocious at that point? Scott Brocious at that point? It was uh, no, it was Enrique Wilson. Oh yeah, that's right. So they've got Enrique Wilson at third, who doesn't have as good an arm as Aaron Boone does. It just doesn't, mm -hmm. right? He has that weird throw, and it kind of the balls dive right as they get the first base, and it's like this weird. Joe Torre made this weird managerial decision. Everybody went with it, obviously, and it all worked out. Right. But Derek Jeter's batting third. Um, I mean, I got to show my wife all these guys I grew up watching. It was like, listen to this. Listen, yeah. I was I was watching this game. It was like he's in the Hall of Fame. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> he's going to the Hall of Fame. That guy's for sure going to the Hall of Fame. You know, it's like it was, it yeah. was literally baseball royalty all in one night in the biggest game mm -hmm. in the American League. You know, it was game seven. And then it, and then it's the Yankees come back with three huge runs in the eighth. Oh, man. They come back with three huge <laughs> runs in the eighth. It gets tied at five. Scoreless in the ninth. It goes into the 10th. It goes into the 11th inning. And I'm like, I remember all of the emotions. <laughs> I'm, sitting here, yeah. I'm sitting there reliving every moment of this, like, ah! without all the crappy beer commercials. <laughs> no, it was fabulous. So they pull Pedro out. They bring in Alan Embry. They pull Embry. They bring in Timlin. This is the Red Sox. And Timlin, they left Timlin in for way longer than I thought they would because he he got chewed up um, mm -hmm. a little bit in his first inning, and is and then they brought him in for another inning, and he ends up settling in and doing way better. But the but then they bring in Tim Wakefield to to kind of you know throw his knuckleball and get the game yeah, figured yeah. out, and. Uh, they subbed out in about the – I think it was the seventh or the eighth inning, they sub in Aaron Boone as a pinch runner, and now he's on the roster playing third base again. So they got him. Here he comes. <clears throat> he doesn't get a single at-bat until the 11th inning. He gets up. He's lead off the 11th inning, and on the first pitch he sees, he cranks one into left field, <laughs> deep left field, and walks it off. And the game ends six to five in the eleventh inning. Game seven of the American League Championship Series, Yankees Red Sox in the Bronx <laughs> with like baseball gods watching and playing. Brian Cashman looks like a twelve year old on cocaine. No, it was amazing. <laughs> it was the coolest. It was so exciting. Um, nah, 
And anyway, do you know what the best part of it was? I forgot What's this. That? Aaron Boone's brother is calling the game in the box. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Brett Boone. I specifically remember that. He, uh, right? he, he, yeah. Do you, so I, sorry, I'm like totally stumbling over my words here. But this is, this is how he got in the box. So he's in the box calling that, right? And, uh, and they weren't going to let him in. And then he said, don't you know who I am? To whoever was like style, like security or whatever. They're like, no, he's like, I'm Aaron, Bo- I'm Aaron Boone's brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't even play the Brett Boone card at the time. Cause he was actually a better player than Aaron Boone at the time. He was an all-star. Yeah, but yeah, I'm Aaron Boone's brother. Who do you think I am? <laughs> and he's sitting up there next to Joe Buck, calling this game. Yep. Like, boy, talk about yep. bringing it all the way around, right? Joe Buck's in this full circle. Yeah, David Ortiz is there. No ma, Garcia Parra. I can't. Yep. I can't tell you how shocked I was when I remembered No Mar's weird, uh, step out of the box glove adjusting. Oh my routine. gosh. He steps He's out the of the poster box child for what this, you shouldn't do between pitches. And he does this weird. <laughs> I sat there like, oh, I forgot about this. He <laughs> does that thing with his hands, yeah. And then he like kicks it's his just... and then he like kicks his toes down into the dirt to get his toes oh, at the front yeah. of his shoes. Yeah, he oh, was like gosh. the fidget master in the batter's box. <laughs> it was so weird, man. I totally forgot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, David Wells got rocked. He got he got brought in and got just pummeled. So these are the yeah. pictures that we saw from 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 the Yankees. We saw Roger Clemens, Mike Mussina. He's in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> yep. Um, Felix Heredia, Jeff Nelson, David Wells. He threw a perfect game, right? And then Mo, first mm-hmm. uh, first unanimous Hall of Fame vote ever. So yep. it was like, gee, listen to this. I'm just going to read you the the lineups really quick. Johnny Damon, Todd Walker, Nomar Garcia Parra, Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz, Gabe Kapler. Eh, interesting. Um, yep. Kevin Kevin Millar, Trot Nixon. Kevin Millar. Uh, Bill, yeah, Kevin Millar. <laughs> I, was saying, I was saying stuff like that the whole – I was – every time every time Nomar came up, I was like, Nomar. It's Nomar. Nomar. It's and a wicked fire. My daughter would put her hands over her ears like, shh, Dad, you're being too loud. And I'm like, it's Noma. And she, she's like, no, it's not Noma. It's not Noma, Dad. It was hilarious. <laughs> Bill Mueller, Jason Veritek. Oh, my word. And then the Yankees, Alfonso Soriano, Nick Johnson, Derek Jeter, Bernie Williams, Matt Suey, Jorge Posada, who's one of my favorite catchers ever. Jason Giambi, yeah, Enrique yeah. Wilson, Ruben Sierra, Aaron Boone, and Kareem Garcia. Kareem Garcia, by the way, is uh, – so the other storyline that's going on during this game is the Pedro Martinez-Kareem uh, Garcia situation where Pedro, mm. in, a, in game, I think it was game four, threw at Kareem's head and, um, I mean, it looked really, like, intentional. And then they. I don't, the bench so I don't remember. Clear. Was that the series? I think you're getting there. I'll let you go ahead. Yeah, bench is clear in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. In Boston, and Pedro Martinez grabs Don Zimmer by the head and throws him on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask. If that was the one. Sure enough. That's it. That was the one. And so, <laughs> sure and enough. so Garcia gets up to the plate, and he's pissed man you can see the look in his eyes he got like anger death written all over it and he steps up there and yeah. faces and he faces pedro and he homered a couple of times in that game nice amazing let's see amazing game well and you know one thing that i remember about that game do you you've seen the movie movie 50 first dates with adam sandler and drew barrymore of course right? yeah 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 uh I always think it's funny that they use that clip, that Aaron Boone home run, yeah. when he says things that have happened in the last what, however many years, and one of them was the Red Sox won the World Series. Just kidding, and they show the Aaron Boone home run. <laughs> and it was still so fresh because that movie came out the summer of 04. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Yankees did beat the Red Sox. <laughs> they had it wrapped up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Adam Sandler, so huge, funny. huge Yankees fan, by the way. Indeed, yep, indeed. All right, so that's the game I watched. It was magical. Loved it. 